to reopen a road that has been closed now to the public for months. City leaders tell us that Canadian National Railroads chose to close the section of Walter Dutch Welch Drive near Livingston Road for safety reasons. That bridge had been hit several times as was reported by trucks that were too tall to pass through. But since then, homeowners nearby have asked the city to open it back. Jackson Councilman DeKeith Stamp says that the decision was made to close it without input from the city council. The only entity that has the power to close a city street is the Jackson City Council, and we were never presented an order to do that. And last night, uh, I appreciate my council colleagues for supporting a measure that was put forward by, by myself, Councilman Stokes, to uh, reopen it. The council voted unanimously to reopen the bridge. During the meeting, the mayor's administration said that they would contact the Public Works Department to see when that road could be reopened to the public.